What's up guys, it's your local scuffed Ashley YouTuber, Andrew YT with a shirt on, and would you like a shirt that says death on it? Well our sponsor for this video, Ice T Aesthetics, has you covered. Ice T Aesthetics is a place where you can go and buy stylish Japanese inspired streetwear that both looks good but at the same time is subtle enough so that you can actually wear it in public without everyone looking at you funny. They even have some clothing lines that are centered around a couple of popular animes such as Attack on Titan and Jodo's Bizarre Adventure, so if you're interested in those you can go and definitely check these out as well. If any of this sounds good to you, you can go and check them out in the link in the description and pinned comment below, and you can also use the code ANDER at checkout for a universal 10% off anything on the website, and also ANDER20 for 20% off, only applicable if you have two or more items in your cart. See you guys in the video! What's up guys, how's everyone doing? I'm of course Ander, and today we're going to be doing a highly anticipated gear guide for the second you already got to ship, being New Jersey. Without further ado, let's get straight into it. Before we get into New Jersey's recommended gears, let's go and take a closer look at her stats and skills. In short, she's absolutely broken. Currently, she is one of the best, if not the best, battleship in the entire game. She provides a bunch of buffs, has ridiculously high stats, and her skills are amazing. For a closer look at her stats, she has the second highest HP stat out of all battleships, only beaten by FDG right now, the third highest firepower stat out of all battleships, the number one highest anti-air stat out of all battleships, and the 5th highest reload stat out of all battleships. And on top of all this, she has a very nice 72 luck, making her very reliable at hitting enemies and dodging attacks. On to New Jersey's amazing skills now. Her red skill, being Dragon's Breath, grants New Jersey a 100% chance to fire a special barrage 10 seconds into the start of battle, as well as every single time that she fires her main guns. On top of all this, this barrage does not require the flagship position, and it's also guaranteed to critically hit. For New Jersey's second skill, just like Wars by Retrofit skill, she decreases the spread of the main gun by 5. Additionally, whenever a fleet that New Jersey is not in engages in battle, New Jersey then fires a supporting barrage 20 seconds after the battle starts, and on top of that, if the flagship is from the Eagle Union, New Jersey increases the aviation of all Eagle Union carriers and light carriers in that same fleet by a respectable 15%. Finally, for New Jersey's last skill, she just flat out increases her firepower by 15% and reload by 10%. And additionally, if New Jersey is sorted with another Eagle Union ship, she increases the anti-air stat of all Eagle Union ships in the same fleet as her by 15%, decreases their damage taken by 5%, and increases the firepower stat of all Eagle Union battleships and battlecruisers by 10% in that same fleet as her. In conclusion, New Jersey is easily the biggest power spike that Eagle Union has ever received in the history of Azerlane because she has incredibly high base stats, a barrage that is guaranteed to activate and critically hit and also does not require the flagship position, a decreased main gun spread, supporting barrage, as well as an aviation anti-air firepower buff, and a damage taken decrease for all Eagle Union ships. She's insanely strong. Now getting into New Jersey's recommended gear loadout, first of all let's talk about her main gun. Now in true American fashion, of course you have to go and have either the burger shell, or the watermelon or deep fried shell as your gear skin. This will go and do absolutely nothing, but it looks cool. Getting back on topic for New Jersey's main gun, basically any good gun is viable on her because you can either focus more on her barrage or her high reload stat and firepower. If you prefer more main gun damage at the cost of a slower barrage proc for more damage in say boss battles, the best high damage main guns are going to be of course the brand new Rainbow 4406mm Mark 7 from the Mirror Involution event, which is easily the best option for her in this category. With very high base damage and a massive 65 bonus firepower, it's way ahead of its competition. If you don't have this gun, you can of course never go wrong with the purple 4406mm, and if you have the gold prototype triple or 381mm right here at plus 13, then it is slightly better than the 4406mm. For AP options, the prototype 4406mm over here is a great option, and the prototype 4410mm is slightly worse. Now if you instead want to go and proc New Jersey's Barrage more often for more coverage in say mob fleets, go with a faster firing gun, such as the prototype 3305mm, which you can go and find over here, with a very fast reload and still solid damage. The prototype twin 406mm over here is a complete upgrade over the purple twin 410mm, and either of these also work if you don't have the first option. Next for New Jersey's auxiliary gun slot, since New Jersey is an Eagle Union battleship, and for some reason these battleships cannot equip light cruiser guns in their aux gun slot, she will instead have to go and make do with the best destroyer guns. The best destroyer gun in my opinion is going to be the gold event baguette gun, 
also known as the single 138mm, which is overall the best option due to its high HE damage as well as its really nice 35 extra firepower. Some other great alternatives include the Gold Russian Event Twin 130mm right here, which has very nice DPS as well as really nice 35 extra firepower as well. Another option includes the Twin 127mm, which has a little less bonus firepower, but instead you do get 25 extra anti-air, so that's always an option. And for those that don't have gold guns, you can always use the purple version of the Twin 127mm or the purple version of the Baguette gun. For New Jersey's anti-air gun slot, as you may recall, she already has a pretty good luck and accuracy stat. So if you want more damage instead, you can go with the Twin 134mm anti-air gun mount for the extra 15 firepower that it provides. If you don't have this, then some additional accuracy can never hurt. The best in this case would be the Twin 40mm Bofors Stag or the Twin 40mm Bofors Hazemar. If you don't have either of these, you can go with anything really of these gold ones. My personal recommendation would always be the Golden Roomba. And if you have none of these guns, then the purple alternatives include the purple Roomba and the 127mm mounted gun. Finally, for New Jersey's auxiliary gears, if you want the most possible amount of damage and firepower, the best gears would definitely be the white and black shells, which you can go and buy from the core data shop for 800 core each. They both provide a great amount of damage and will increase New Jersey's damage output even further. The white shell, of course, giving 55 firepower, 15 accuracy, and it also increases the main gun crit damage by 25%, while the black shell gives 70 firepower and it increases the main gun crit rate by 8%. Some other good options for her aux gears include the high standard fire control radar over here, which provide a very large amount of firepower and accuracy, as well as decreasing the loading time of her first main gun volley by 15%. If you're running that triple 406mm Mark 7 on her, then it actually shaves off a nice 3 seconds in loading time, which is pretty nice. Some other good options include the SG radar if you really want to, the new FUMO thing, which is a fire control radar, but it's gold. Of course, the purple fire control radar is also a thing too, and the purple poor man's white shell is here as well. Now, for New Jersey's showcase, I didn't really have a particular stage in mind because she really steamrolls through everything, so here's a compilation of New Jersey randomly destroying things. Here's New Jersey shooting a random siren in D3. Well, where'd the siren go? I guess it's dead now. That, yeah, that, that's basically it. There you go. Here's another siren. The siren's not there anymore. Amazing. I don't know why it's only this particular siren, but it's it's dead again for the third time. Money shot. Diversity is a different siren this time. They still share the same fate though. You know what, for the fun of it, let's just go and see how they do in a random 13-4 stage. And also this is a 3 triangle carrier node, which is the hardest thing that this chapter has to offer. So let's see if they go and win on auto. And also, these ships are really underleveled, so um, they have no business actually winning. Okay, well, there's New Jersey. And there's New Jersey. I mean, no, that's Perseus's planes getting shot down. But don't worry, guys, we have Eagle Union and Supremacy, and because New Jersey's there, she gives a nice 15% I mean, anti-air bonus to all these Eagle Union ships, and a 5% damage decrease to all the Eagle Union ships, and somehow they're just trucking through this. Okay, they're taking a little bit of damage. I mean, they're heavily underleveled, so I wouldn't really expect too much about them. Oh, here's New Jersey. Pew. That worked. On to Operation Siren, I guess. Hey guys, Ender YT back on Operation Siren. Today we found a really edgy Helena, so let's go and see if we can go and kill her. Let's go and start. Now, this battle is very simple. All you gotta do is just dodge Helena's lasers, and then it'll be fine. Because if your vanguard dies, which they will, then uh, that's it. We start off with the basics, we get that Richelieu preload in there. Saint Rui. Oh, Dragon's Breath, pretty cool. There's just so much stuff happening, and I have no idea what's going on. I'll just let it auto. Oh, looks like our battleship salvos are coming in. Elena procked her radar scan, so there's going to be some big money, big damage right here. Okay, Hal's shooting too. Alright, and then we get another Richelieu salvo here too. 
Pretty nice, pretty nice. 50 seconds to go. Let's go and see if she survives 50 more seconds. Overall, I'd say it's pretty good. Oh, here we go. Here's the fun part. Lasers. New Jersey is going to go and shoot her salvo once again. Some nice damage right there. Same thing with Hao and Richelieu. All you gotta do for Helena meta is just going to put a bunch of HE on all of your ships. That's why I have Azuma and Sanrui, because they shoot a bunch of HE damage. And of course I have New Jersey with her HE gun. HE gun. Richelieu is of course HE and Hao has an HE skill and she has an HE gun on. Oh, and they just ate the laser. So goodbye Vanguard, it was nice knowing you. Good thing I've got that damage control thing on my Helena, so she'll survive for a little bit longer. Actually, she might survive the whole entire time. Never mind, she's just eating the laser. Pretty nice. Alright, so she'll die in like uh, two seconds. Rest in peace, Helena. And there you go. That's a nice run. Ooh, round two. And New Jersey is just doing even more damage, I guess. Hi, Helena. Bye, Helena. With that battle showcase finished, that will conclude my gear guide for New Jersey. Another quick shout out to Ice T Aesthetics for sponsoring this video. Go and make sure that you go and check them out in the link in the other description or the pinned comment below. And as always, if you found this information helpful, consider dropping a like and subscribing. Don't forget to press the notification bell for my future uploads as well. Feel free to leave a comment if you have any questions that need to be answered, and I'll try my best to reply. If you're interested, you can always join my Discord server if you need any advice or just want a place to relax. That'll be all for this video. I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!